at my channel. Well, I haven't broken out the hardness tester in a while. So, this is supposed to be BG10. So, we'll see. You know, cutting has a lot more to do than just with the Rockwell. But, a harder Rockwell is usually a tougher edge. So, let's take... Take this blade right here. And see, this is a doc the er earlier doctor's knife from 440. And this is the pipe doctor. I mean the that's a pipe doctor in 440. And this one is the one that's in BG10. It doesn't doesn't say it on there, but they have it on their website. So if this rock wells out the same as this. Then we got issues here. <laughs> we got issues. Alright, so what should we start off with? Well, first I should start off with plugging in a microphone. So I haven't done this in advance. I don't know. Alright, so we could start off with 45, 50. Let's we'll start off with 50. Let's see what 50 does. Because it should be above 50, I would think, maybe, I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's sliding away. Let's try this guy. Oops. I bumpied. Yeah, both of those are above 50. All right, let's go to 55. 55, coming up. Wow, still sliding. Sliding. Four forty eight sliding too. Wow. Sixty. Sure, you got a lot of oil there or something. It should start digging in at 60. Huh. Let me get up here. Maybe you can see this. Tell him to focus right there. Wow. Not even scratching it. Let me try this guy. Yeah, it's this one is digging in. Nope. Nope. And I'm putting some pressure on it, too. I'm not just, you know, like... I'm pushing in there. I'm getting the bend of this right in here. All right, so this is above 60 on this one. And this one's between 55 and 60. So, 65. This should start scratching. One would think. If not, then we got issues. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's starting to scratch. I don't know if you can see that. Let me 2x it. 2x. See right there. You can kind of hear it, too. That's 65. I'm going to go back to 60 and I'll put it on this guy. It 
it slides. There's a there's a spot where it had had dug in before. Let me try this guy. We're using sixty. Oh yeah. He just took a chunk out. <laughs> you see how shiny that is? Let me try 55. I was just scraping right there with it on 55 and it's not shiny. Yeah, that one was at 60. It was shiny. So, these guys are, this is 55, just double and triple check it, not slides, it slides it ain't, the only thing it catches on is the edge of that, oh sorry, the only thing it catches on is the edge of the, uh, the blade there, but I mean that, that's normal right here, see, I'm just pushing but it's not making any scratches. And that's 55. And this is 60. I know we're just kind of like duplicating everything, but I just wanted to double, triple check. Slides. It's not... There's a little... I'm, I'm pushing kind of hard on this, too. So I'd say between 60 and 65 on the VG-10 stuff. There is a difference in heat treat between these two. Between the... Uh, the 440A. See? 440. And the unmarked but they say it's VG10, so there you go. It's not anything super definitive, you know. You, you're better with one of those Rockwell testing machines, but they're expensive, and you got to get them calibrated. And a file gives you a rough idea, you know. <laughs> a rough idea, rough, rough. All right, so there you go. That's my little experiment in uh, in hardness testing of the wasp series and it looks like you're going to get a little bit better edge retention off this than you would think so too if it really was oh, there's a moth in here I'll get your butt uh, <laughs> I got him <clears throat> look at him up close Oh, no, he's trying to get away. <laughs> trying to get away. Look at his eyes glowing. Moth torturing. You know, these are... These are bad moths, you know, because they... They get in your food. Oh, sorry, did I, did I hit your head there? Do you have a headache? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, your head's kind of twisted there, buddy. Close we can get. One wing up. Yeah, these things are a pain in the butt, man. They, they're, they're fairly easy to kill, but uh, if you see more than one of them, you're in trouble. If you've got any kind of food storage or grains going on, because they'll chew through cardboard and plastic. And then they'll lay their eggs in there, and then they'll go out and mate some more. And just have a lot of fun running around. But yeah, I put, I put uh, mothballs in the closet. Just in the closet. And man, that smell permeates the whole place. The whole apartment. I mean, the bedroom. And I'm not going to put any more in there. And it doesn't seem to bother the moths. They're like, all right, cool. We are waiting for this. So anyway, there you go. That's, that's a moth update and a VG10 update.
Thank you for watching and have a nice day.